Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the legendary game, Tetris, using an Arduino Nano and a dot matrix display as the screen. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you! Let's get started! To create the code that runs Tetris on an Arduino Nano with a dot matrix display and a joystick as the controller, I discussed and asked for help from one of the most popular AI, ChatGPT. With ChatGPT AI, we can easily generate code that matches exactly what we want to achieve. Of course, the process doesn't stop there, the code needs to be tested and refined by giving feedback to the AI until we get a version that works perfectly and runs smoothly on the hardware. This iterative process not only saves time, but also makes learning and experimenting much more fun. Here are the components I'm using for this project. For the microcontroller, I'm using an Arduino Nano. To control the movement of the Tetris pieces, I'm using a joystick, so there's no need for multiple buttons. For the display, I'm using a Max7219 dot matrix module, which works perfectly as the game screen. And of course, a USB cable is needed for both data transfer and power. Here's a test run to see how the code generated by ChatGPT works to run the Tetris game on the dot matrix display using the Arduino Nano. At the start of the game, the word Tetris appears as an intro screen. To play, the player simply moves the joystick left or right to control the piece, and pushes it down to make the piece fall faster. To rotate a piece, just press the joystick button in the middle. At the end of the game, your final score will be displayed on the screen. For this test, I'm still using jumper wires for quick prototyping. In the next step, I plan to solder the connections to make everything more solid and reliable. Next, I designed a custom case to house all the components, making the project easier and more practical to use. I used a 3D printer to bring the case design to life, ensuring everything fits neatly inside. I made the design as compact as possible so that all the components can be mounted securely, leaving just a little extra space so the overall size doesn't become too bulky. I also added a special curve on the back of the case as a resting spot for the middle finger, so it feels more comfortable to hold during gameplay. This small detail makes a big difference, especially when playing for a longer time giving the case a more ergonomic feel and making the whole experience much more enjoyable. Here is the result of the 3D printed case. Make sure all components are properly installed using screws and that all the wiring is secure. Once everything is in place, close the case with the cover, and your Arduino Nano Tetris console is ready to play. And that's it. We've just built a fully working Tetris console using an Arduino Nano, a Max7219 dot matrix display, and a simple joystick, all with the help of ChatGPT to generate and refine the code step by step. By combining this with a custom 3D printed case, we've made the console much more compact, sturdy, and comfortable to play with. The best part is, you can build this yourself. I've shared both the code and the 3D case design so you can easily recreate this project at home. You'll find the download link in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas for future projects, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching, and have fun building your own Tetris console. See you in the next video.